Hello students, I am Thornboy. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we will discuss about a very important topic, a rule named as Huckel rule, which describes a compound to be aromatic, anti-aromatic or non-aromatic. So, so today we will discuss about the aromaticity, the rule, some exception as well as anti-aromaticity. Okay, so let's start. This is a very important topic. I suggest you please learn it because this is the base of a future very important topic, aromaticity. Okay. Since we are talking about aromaticity, about aromaticity, so it is very important to know what this aromaticity is. This aromaticity is an exception, exceptional ground state exceptional ground state stabilization of a conjugated molecule conjugated molecule when i say this is a very qualitative ex explanation of aromaticity okay so when i say this something means that some few words came into our mind first exceptional second ground state stabilization of a conjugated molecule so this point i suggest please keep it in mind so before going to further details just let me give you a data the resonance stabilization actually i should write stabilization generally it doesn't mention always but this is a stabilization energy okay for benzene is 20, 36 kilocalorie per mole see this is furan benzene means this furan means this is a 5 member heterocyclic compound, 16 kilocalorie per mole, and thiophene, where on the oxygen is replaced by sulfur. This is 29 kilocalorie per mole. From this explanation, you can see that there is a difference. Means this furan benzene, uh, sorry, furan benzene, thiophene, they have different. Means the extent of stabilization of this compound is different. Okay, fine. Keep it in mind. Second, let's come to this drawing. As you can see here, this benzene molecule, this benzene molecule could be represented in two ways. How? First of all, you can keep this alternate conjugated double bond. And how actually this is a drawing pattern on 2D framework. But how this molecule actually looks like? Or what is the <coughs> orbital, sorry. <coughs> what is the orbitals? of this molecule means how these double bonds are formed means orbital alignment so this formed by the conjugation of 6 p orbitals okay so this 6 p orbital are in conjugation to form this benzene molecule so so this overlap in this way in this way to form this molecule fine not only that in they are forming overlap with this. Along with that, they can form overlap between this, this, this possible. All are possible. I wrote, I think it is better. I should give it in the bottom to not create, otherwise, it may create confusion like this. Okay, whatever. So, possible. So, that is the thing should be described in terms of aromaticity. But one thing, <coughs> keep it in mind. Always delocalization does not mean stabilization. I'll explain this statement. Delocalization always does not mean stabilization. It means stabilization if we fulfill particular criteria. Okay. So let's focus on the Huckel. This Huckel is a German scientist and keep it in mind this above you there is a lone pair. So since this is a German word, that's why it is expressed in this way. So this Huckel rule is based on Huckel molecular orbital theory calculation. Okay, so what does it say? It says a system for because it's a condition for aromaticity. First one is system should be cyclic. Cyclic. Second should be planar. Planar. Third should be conjugated. <coughs> conjugated and fourth is having 4n plus 2 number of pi electrons where 
n is integer means it could be 0 1 2 3 etc fine but in case of cyclic it is better to say mono cyclic okay so let's focus everything for example we are discussing about a three conjugated double bond system that is Vinci. corresponding the acyclic one this this is this is one two three four five what should six what should be its name one three five hexa tri in five so it is a one three five hexa tri so what the message I want to give here that this benzene is more stable than this because of this because it's a cyclic it is not cyclic so this is not aromatic although it is conjugated planar cyclic but it is non aromatic because not cyclic fine second it is it must be planar by the way for example this benzene is a planar molecule because actually see these all carbon atoms <coughs> these are sp2 hybridized planar having a p orbital so it is planar fine so benzene molecule this is a planar molecule benzene is a planar molecule so fine but some exceptions are there will come everywhere <coughs> and conjugated <coughs> sorry conjugated means every carbon atom every should be should have at least a p orbital or we can say this conjugation this theory in this way each atoms will have p orbital some exceptions are there will come and the fourth is 4 plus 2 number of pi electrons ok so for example let us take n equal to 0 then 4n plus 2 equal to 2 if n equal to 1 then this equal to 1 uh, sorry number of pi electron so it is 6 if n equal to 1 if n equal to 2 4 plus 2 will sustain etc ok so this is so if n equal to 0 what is the corresponding uh, molecule for aromaticity this is cyclopropenium cation ok this is cyclopropenium cyclopro p p e n i u n cyclopropenium cation c it is a cation but it is exceptionally stable and that's why because of the aromaticity which because aromaticity is so much stabilizing factor which stabilizes a cation okay keep it in mind in the future videos i will explain individually cyclopropenium cyclobutane those everything but just this is a stable and it remains as a corresponding salt means x minus like perchlorate etc see if n equal to 1 6 what is the example benzene which i have already written here if n equal to 2 this is this could be 1 naphthalene like 2 benzene fused this or <clears throat> even would be uh, if you consider actually say bicyclic uh, that's why it is better to avoid this word actually it is written on the book so instead of that you can explain that is uh, 10 anomaly naphthalene or other like 10 anomaly ok so fine this is now the question is let's focus about the exceptions so exception means what do i mean exception means cyclic is a compulsory thing without cyclic you will not get anything so there is no exception planet so if you uh, consider a molecule that is
this molecule this this is cyclo hepta because 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 tri in 1 double bond 2 double bond 3 double bond apparently if you see this molecule see this is actually a sp3 carbon having no p orbital so question is according to this rule okay i forget if a molecule follows four rules and four n plus two rules then it should be considered as aromatic if it does not follow a particular rule it should be non-aromatic and if it follow all the rule and in case of this four n plus two it only for, for follows the 4n rule, not 2, then it should be considered as anti aromatic Okay, these are three things. So fine. So apparently it looks like this is non aromatic So we should say this is non aromatic But in reality, what aromaticity means? Physically, it means a huge ground state stabilization energy. Okay. So, it is also that the molecule is stable. Question how it is stable. So, this thing could be explained in this way. You may draw this molecule in this fashion. This. Okay. And this. So, double bond, this is one double bond, this is. Sorry. This is one double bond, this is one double bond, this is one double bond. And this is the sp3 carbon, means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it can have a conjugation, and if they conjugate, the resonance structure should look like this, with this, this. So, means it will come here, here. Now, question how this is happening? This is giving to this, this is this, and it is coming to this. In this way, this is. Now you may think that, so this is a, it was a, it is expected to be a pi bond. How can I say? Actually, this is actually a P, P over here. Not sigma bond, okay? So this is sigma, but this is not a sigma bond. How this is formed? The 2 or pi or by P or by tell. Here one P or by tell. And here one p orbital. This two p orbital are involved in the overlap to each other. Means they overlap to each other. That's why this bond form. So this thing is called homo aromatic. aromatic. This is exception. I will explain in future about details about this homo aromaticity. But in this <coughs> context, I want to give a information. What? If during your exam thing, if you, you have given multiple choice and this compound is given and this they have asked what is this? What is the nature of this molecular? Please describe or describe or point out the words resembles to this. So if in that four option you don't have the word homo aromatic, instead of that you have the word and non-aromatic, then I suggest you choose this. But if in the multiple choice questions there are words non aromatic along with homo aromatic, then you should pick up this. So, sometimes I know, sometimes it is a little complicated that you are writing the right thing, but because of the situation, you may not get proper marks. Okay. So, that's why it is better to write the, it is better to follow what is asked in the question. Okay, fine. So, this is we have discussed. Now, planar thing we have discussed because of this homoaromaticity. This part is planar. Actually, here the rule of aromaticity is not violated. See, the part involving the aromatic, aromaticity is in play. For example, if you think about ethyl benzene, CH2, CH3. So, aromatic part is this. This is in the plane. But this is not the aromatic part. That's why it is out of plane, so no problem. Overall, we will consider this molecule is aromatic. Or this molecule contains an aromatic part. Similarly, we can say about this molecule that this molecule contains an aromatic part, which is this one. 
Fine? Okay. So, side. So, we have discussed about the planar as well as conjugated thing. Now, we will discuss about the last part that is anti -aromaticity. So, this is the important thing because aromaticity means physically a huge ground state civilization. Similarly, anti aromaticity means a anti aromaticity means unstabilization. Unstabilization with respect to whom? Unstabilization with respect to their corresponding acyclic error. Okay. Acyclic error, for example, for benzene, I told that 1, 2, 3 hexatrine is the corresponding acyclic analog as benzene is a cyclic molecule. Similarly, the corresponding acyclic analog. Let's take an example. If you think the first of all, if 4n root means if it is 4n root, if n equal to 0, then no pi electron. So not possible. Here n should be started from 1. So if n equal to 1, 4n means it indicates 4 pi electron. 4 pi electrons, fine. So what is the corresponding molecule fulfilling all the criteria? This is this. Cyclobutadiene. Cyclobutadiene. So according to the definition, this is anti aromatic means it is extremely unstable. Actually, reality is that. This is extremely unstable. If you keep this molecule, it will instantly undergo dimerization to prepare to and result in the formation of this molecule. Okay, it means 2 plus 2. Another molecule of cyclobutadiene, for example, you may think that they will come here, they will form 2 plus 2 addition and form this molecule. So this is not stable because anti aromaticity But if you think about the corresponding acyclic counterpart means butadiene. This is 1, 3 butadiene. See, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is stable. We know this is a very good reagent for this order reaction. So this indicates, this logic indicates that aromaticity results in unstabilization. Sorry, anti aromaticity results in unstabilization. Okay? Another example. So, if you think about this molecule, this versus benzene. Let's compare. So, now you can see benzene, it's a cyclic planar everything. So, benzene is aromatic. So, let's write it aro. And this is, according to this logic, everything. That see, cyclic, planar, conjugated, and 4n, not 4n plus 2, this is a 4n electron, anti aromatic. But what does it, what I told that anti aromaticity means huge amount of unstabilization or destabilization. And molecule never ever prefer to have unstable situation if it do not have any option left. Okay? And this is happening exactly the same in case of this molecule. So, if it has an option then, and this anti aromaticity means a destabilizing conjugation. So, better to say anti aromaticity, if you keep it in mind, anti this word, anti aromatic, unstable conjugation. It's my word. So, this conjugation resulting in unstability. That's happening in case of anti aromaticity. That's why what it does, it doesn't form planar. In reality, in 2D board, you think it's a planar. But actually, in reality, it is not planar. How it remains? It remains a board form. How this, this both or top, whatever you say, form. And how these double bonds? See, here one double bond, one double bond, one double bond, one double bond. So, logically, if we think this is aromatic, then expect to have another chemical form. Means this, like in case of benzene, this, it will come here, it will come here, it will come here. So, this, 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 and it is expected that this, 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 this. So, what is expected? In case of benzene, all CC bond, same. So you see length 
are same. But in case of this cyclooctadiene, if this conjugation is possible, means it is delocalized thing, then it is expected that all should be same, like benzene. But it is not. There are two types of CC bond. One C C double bond C. One C single bond C. What does it mean that these double bonds are localized, not delocalized? So cyclic planar conjugated. This is not conjugated. Conjugated means delocalized. So this is not delocalized. Okay. So this sim example proves that anti aromaticity is a unstable, unstable conjugation, and molecule prefers to avoid this unstable, unstability thing. Okay. So please keep it in mind this thing. So I will leave for a beginning study. This is enough. So, if uh, in from the next video, I shall explain about the important thing that is Frost diagram. Because we are telling that okay, if we want to see cyclopropenium cation versus benzene, a qualitative stabilization comparison could be explained based on Frost diagram. Because it's a easy thing. Because I believe for a chemist, it is always not possible to think about this quantum mechanical calculation, molecular modeling, etc. Based on which these theories are proposed, molecular orbital theory actually. So, first diagram is a tool to understand that whether this molecule should be stable, unstable, or for example, if you put two electron, so instead of that, if you put two electron, what is happening? Then, and right now this is eight electron. After that, it is ten electron. So then, if it is ten electron thing, then it is aromatic. Two minus. Means two electron means potassium, so two K plus. So this is stable means this is aromatic and actually this is formed. Then all the CC bond became same. So everything should a molecule accept electron or not? Or uh, is the electron abstraction will result in unstabilization or stabilization? That is so everything will be described in that uh, could be explained based on the first diagram which I will describe in the next video. So thank you everyone for listening. So, if you like my teaching, please help me to grow my channel. First of all, subscribe my channel, Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule, and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. Second, share this video among your friends such that many people could be benefited, and that is a satisfactory thing for me because my effort is beneficial for many people. And thirdly, please like this video and make some good comments such that uh, I get encouraged because this is the biggest encouragement for me that my videos are useful for you. And if it is not good, also please mention it because. Your criticism is the fit. Your criticism is the background for my improvement, for the betterment of this chemistry explanation. Okay, so thank you everyone for listening. Stay happy, stay blessed. See you in my next video.